Japan, the land of the rising sun. What was once an isolationist, feudalistic, honor-based society has since cherry-blossomed into a financial and industrial powerhouse that is a world leader in electronics, engineering and motor racing. Japan is an Asian oasis for motorsport, which has a highly respected domestic scene, reinforced by its incredibly prolific car manufacturing industry, and has also embedded itself into the European and North American scenes. When it comes to Formula One, there have been 21 Japanese drivers, by far the most of any Asian nation, and many of them have attracted loyal fan bases, drawn to them by their hyper-aggressive driving styles. <laughs> When it comes to ranking them, I've decided once again to leave that to you, my subscribers. So, from the land of the Samurai, Sushi, Nintendo, Karaoke and Hentai, here's your ranking of all 21 Japanese Formula 1 drivers. So, in 21st, you voted for Masami Kuwashima. Kuwashima raced in Japanese Formula 2000 in the 1970s and managed to get a seat with Wolf Williams for the 1976 Japanese Grand Prix on its debut on the Formula 1 calendar. His best time in first practice was 5 seconds off the pace and then his sponsors withdrew and Hans Binder was put in the car for the rest of the weekend, giving Kuwashima perhaps the shortest Formula 1 career in history. He returned to Japanese Formula 2000, but disappeared into obscurity in the 1980s. In 20th, you voted for Yuji Ide. Yuji Ide is not necessarily a bad driver in general, he only retired from racing in 2022 in his mid-40s, but he was completely inadequately prepared for Formula 1. Virtually nobody had heard of the 31-year-old when he was chosen by Aguri Suzuki to partner Takuma Sato at the new Super Aguri team in 2006, who was determined to field an all-Japanese team. Ide had done a French Formula 3 campaign in 2002, but otherwise had only raced in Japan, having won the Formula Dream title in 1999 and finished runner-up in All Japan Formula 3 in 2000 and Formula Nippon in 2005, with 13 wins from a 12-year career under his belt, but got hardly any testing in before the season began, beyond the 300 kilometers required to obtain his FIA Super Licence. He qualified well outside the hypothetical 107% time in qualifying in Bahrain, and then ran over his pit mechanics in the race before the car broke down. He actually made an overtake on Tiago Montero early on at Sepang, but then the car broke down once again. He managed to finish in Australia after blocking several drivers in qualifying, but was plumb last and three laps down despite there being three safety cars. But the coup de grace came at Imola, where he dive-bombed Christian Albers on lap one and sent him into a barrel roll. After this, he was demoted to third driver and then shortly after had his FIA Super Licence revoked, and that was the end of his short but memorable F1 career. In four races, he got no wins, no podiums, no poles, no fastest laps, no points, and a best finish of 13th at the 2006 Australian Grand Prix. In 19th, you voted for Naoki Hattori. Hattori won the Japanese Formula 3 championship in 1990, but was unable to find a seat in Formula 1 in 1991 until he was called up to replace Pedro Chavez at Coloni for the final two rounds. Coloni were yet to get past pre-qualifying at any races that year, and this continued with Hattori as he broke down before setting a proper time at Suzuka and was five seconds off the pace at Adelaide. His only other chance at Formula 1 came with a test with failed entrant Dome in 1997, but he otherwise enjoyed a long and successful career back home in Formula Nippon and Super GT. In 18th, you voted for Kazuyoshi Hashino. Hashino began his career as a factory driver for Nissan in the 1960s. He entered the 1976 Japanese Grand Prix with Heros Racing in a two-year-old Tyrrell 007. He qualified 21st, but had an astonishing start and got up to 8th on the first lap in heavy rain. He managed to get as high as 3rd, but then retired on lap 28, having burned his way through his tyre supply. He entered again the following year with Heros, this time driving a Kojima chassis, and qualified 11th and finished 11th. He never again entered Formula 1 and went on to win Japanese F3000 6 times, the Fuji Grand Championship 5 times, and the Japanese Touring Car Championship in 1990. In 17th, you voted for Hiroshi Fushida. 
Fushida began his racing career in the 1960s as a factory driver for Honda and then Toyota and won the Fuji 1000km three times and the Suzuka 1000km twice. He then became a pioneer in the 1970s as along with Tetsu Ikazawa, he became the first Japanese driver to compete in the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 1973. And then in 1975, he entered the Dutch Grand Prix with Japanese team Maki Engineering and in so doing became the first Japanese Formula 1 driver. He qualified 25th and last, some 10 seconds off Wilson Fittipaldi in 24th, but then failed to start the race after the car's Cosworth DFV blew up and the team had no spare parts. A month later, he tried again with them at the British Grand Prix, but qualified 28th and last for a 26-car grid and once again did not start the race. His modest sponsorship from Citizen Watches could take him no further, and he returned to Japan, where he won the Fuji 1000 km for a fourth time in 1979, and then retired from racing in 1981, and since then has been a director for both Dome and Toms, and oversaw Bentley's victory at the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 2003. In 16th, you voted for Taki Inoue. Inoue may proudly consider himself the worst Formula 1 driver of all time, but he isn't quite at the bottom of this list. He discovered Formula 1 as a teenager in the 1970s, but after being told it was impossible for a Japanese driver to get into it, he decided to challenge that. After four mediocre years in Japanese Formula 3, during which time he scored only 11 points in 34 races, Inoue moved to Europe in 1994 to race in International Formula 3000 and settled in East Anglia in the UK after being told at the airport that the nearest racing course was in Newmarket, which turned out to be for horse racing. Near the end of the year, he made a one-off appearance at the Japanese Grand Prix with Simtech. He qualified 26th, a whole 3.4 seconds behind teammate David Brabham in 24th, and when torrential rain came down on Sunday, lasted only three laps before spinning off. Despite this unremarkable debut, he managed to secure a full-time seat with footwork for 1995. It was a chaotic year where he qualified no better than 18th, and finished just five of the 17 races he started, including crashing out five times. He also had to tackle pit stops for the first time, something he'd never encountered in Japan. He's best remembered, however, for his love-hate relationship with race control. After stalling during practice at Monaco, he was rear-ended by a course car and sent into the barriers. Then, at the Hungarian Grand Prix, after he pulled over with an engine fire and was helping the marshals extinguish it, he was hit by the medical car and rolled over the bonnet, injuring his leg. He signed with Minardi for 1996, but his sponsors Unimat and Clearly Canadian pulled out on the morning of the car's launch, and that was that. These days, he lives in Monaco, dividing his time equally between managing Japanese drivers, tweeting, and drinking. In 18 races, he got no wins, no podiums, no poles, no fastest laps, no points, and a best finish of 8th at the 1995 Italian Grand Prix. In 15th, you voted for Masahiro Hasemi. Hasemi was a prominent racer for Nissan in saloon cars and GT cars in the 1960s and 70s, and in 1975, he won the Japanese Grand Prix All Japan FJ1300 Championship race, before it was a Formula 1 World Championship race. One year later, he entered it again when it made its debut on the Formula 1 calendar. He was driving for Kojima Engineering, a team set up by Matsuhisa Kojima who had arranged a deal with Dunlop to supply tyres for the race, and he shockingly looked like a contender for pole after going fourth in the first qualifying session, but then crashed in the second and started tenth. The race was run in torrential rain, and he eventually finished seven laps down in eleventh. He was also incorrectly declared as having set the fastest lap, which several days later was given to Jacques Lafitte. However, this correction was not well known outside Japan, and it was many years before this was corrected in the record books. He never again entered Formula 1, but won the Japanese Formula 2 Championship in 1980 and got three Japanese touring car titles with Nissan. He retired from racing in 2001 and now runs his own Super GT team. In 14th, you voted for Toshio Suzuki. Of no relation to Aguri Suzuki, Toshio Suzuki proved that age is just a number as he won the inaugural All Japan Formula 3 Championship in 1979, aged 24, then in 1990 he won the Japanese Touring Car Championship, aged 35, followed two years later with the 24 Hours of Daytona alongside former F1 drivers Kazuyoshi Hashino and Masahiro Hasemi, and finished runner-up in the Japanese F3000 Championship. 
This was enough for him to make his Formula 1 debut in 1993 at the grand old age of 38, covering for Philippe Alio at La Rousse for the final two rounds. At his home race at Suzuka, he qualified 23rd, only 4 tenths behind teammate Eric Comas, and finished the race in 12th and last. Then at Adelaide, he qualified last, almost 4 seconds behind Comas, and finished last once again in 14th, 2 laps behind Comas. He didn't race in Formula 1 again, but there was no stopping him, as he won Formula Nippon in 1995, aged 40, and then the 24 Hours of Le Mans in the LMGTP class in 1999 alongside fellow former F1 driver Ukio Katayama and Keiichi Tsuchiya, aged 44. In 13th, you voted for Hideki Noda. Noda was racing in International Formula 3000 when he was called up by LaRousse to replace Yannick Dalmas for the final three rounds of 1994. He qualified 24th at Jerez, over a second behind teammate Eric Comas, but the gearbox died on lap 11. He was only 12 thousandths behind Comas at Suzuka, but then started from the pit lane in the torrential rain and crashed out on the first lap. Then, at Adelaide, he managed to comfortably outqualify new teammate Jean-Denis de la Traz, but then retired with an oil leak on lap 19, ending his short F1 career without ever seeing the chequered flag. These days, he's managing the career of his teenage daughter Juju, but despite her sensational karting career, things have gone downhill following several accidents in Danish Formula 4, a mediocre W Series campaign, and the revelation that her race-winning Euro Formula Open car was massively underweight. In 12th, you voted for Kunimitsu Takahashi. Takahashi began his career on motorbikes in the 1960s, becoming the first Japanese motorcycle Grand Prix winner and acquiring the nickname the Father of Drifting. He switched to cars in 1965 and entered the 1977 Japanese Grand Prix with Meiritsu Racing Team, driving the same Tyrrell 007 Kazuyoshi Hoshino used the previous year with Heros Racing. He qualified 22nd but managed to finish 9th. Following this, he finished runner-up in Japanese Formula 2 in 1977 and then won four All Japan Sports Prototype Championship titles in the 1980s. He founded Team Kunimitsu in 1994 and with them won Le Mans in the GT2 category in 1995. He retired from racing in 1999 and led Team Kunimitsu to the Super GT title in 2018 with Naoki Yamamoto and Jensen Button and then died from lymphoma in 2022. In 11th, you voted for Sakon Yamamoto. Yamamoto had a mediocre junior career, getting two wins in five years, but he received very generous financial backing from sponsor Sanho Human Service and was made third driver for Jordan at the 2005 Japanese Grand Prix. He was racing in Super GT and Formula Nippon in 2006 when he was abruptly made third driver for Super Aguri as a replacement for Yuji Ide and then not long after was promoted to second driver in place of Frank Montagny. In his seven races with them, he outqualified teammate Takuma Sato only once and was regularly off the pace, but at Interlagos, despite still finishing last, he set the 10th fastest lap and the second fastest middle sector. He entered the GP2 series in 2007, but mid-season was called up to Spiker to replace Marcus Finkelhock. He once again qualified last at every race, crashed out in Hungary and collided with Giancarlo Fisichella at Interlagos, but managed to beat Jano Trulli at Fuji. He became Renault's test driver in 2008 while doing GP2 again, and after a year in ADAC GT Masters, became test driver for HRT in 2010, and was then promptly promoted to a race seat in place of Karun Chandok, but shared his seat with Christian Kleon. He ran over the pit mechanics at Monza, and it wasn't until his final race with them that he managed to outqualify teammate Bruno Senna, and he was then made reserve driver for Virgin for the first four races of 2011, the sixth Formula 1 team he was contracted to. He's raced sporadically since then, and was elected to the Japanese House of Representatives in 2021. In 21 races, he got no wins, no podiums, no poles, no fastest laps, no points, and a best finish of 12th at the 2007 Japanese Grand Prix. In 10th, you voted for Noritaki Takahara. Takahara won the Japanese top Formula title in 1974 and 1976, and at the end of that year joined Masahiro Hasemi and Kazuyoshi Hoshino in becoming the first Japanese drivers to start a Formula 1 Grand Prix when he entered the Japanese Grand Prix with 30s. He qualified 24th and finished 9th, and returned in 1977, this time with Kojima and with Hoshino as his teammate. He qualified 19th and was then taken out in a crash with Mario Andretti and Hans Binder on the second lap and then returned to domestic racing. 
In ninth, you voted for Tyrannosuke Takagi. After advancing up the domestic Japanese ladder, Takagi became Tyrrell's test driver in 1997 and was promoted to a race seat in 1998. He and teammate Ricardo Rossit struggled in what was ultimately Tyrrell's final year in the sport, though unlike Rossit, Takagi was able to qualify for every race. He then moved to Arrows in 1999 but was outpaced by rookie teammate Pedro De La Rosa and ended the season with eight consecutive retirements and struggled with communication with his lack of proficient English. He then returned to Formula Nippon in 2000 and promptly won it and retired in 2005. In 32 races, he got no wins, no podiums, no poles, no fastest laps, no points, and a best finish of 7th at the 1999 Australian Grand Prix. In 8th, you voted for Shinji Nakano. After several years racing in Japan, Nakano secured a deal to race with the new Pros team in 1997, who were running Mugen Honda engines. He drove safely across the year, scoring points twice, though experienced teammate Olivier Parnis got two podiums. After Prost switched from Mugen Honda engines to Peugeot engines for 1998, he lost his seat and moved to Minardi. His rookie teammate Esteban Tuero took the main bulk of the reliability problems, and Nakano finished most of the races but didn't score any points, and left the team at the end of the year. He was made a test driver for Jordan in 1999, who also had Mugen Honda engines, and then spent the rest of his career in IndyCar and endurance racing. In 33 races, he got no wins, no podiums, no poles, no fastest laps, two points, and a best finish of sixth at the 1997 Canadian and Hungarian Grand Prix. In seventh, you voted for Kazuki Nakajima. Nakajima had been supported by Toyota his entire junior career, who he had joined to avoid accusations of nepotism from his Honda-backed father Satoru, and was made Williams' third driver in 2007 in exchange for Williams getting Toyota engines free of charge. When Alex Wirtz unexpectedly retired after the Chinese Grand Prix, Nakajima made his debut at the final round at Interlagos, where he ran over the pit mechanics. He still, however, got a full-time seat in 2008, getting points here and there, including becoming the first Japanese point scorer at Monaco, but got far fewer than teammate Nico Rosberg and was also lucky to go a single race without breaking his front wing or colliding with another driver. He stayed there in 2009 but became the only driver to start every race that year and not score any points, and was then dropped after Williams parted ways with Toyota, but went on to win Super Formula twice, Le Mans three times, and the World Endurance Championship once before retiring from racing in 2022. In 36 races, he got no wins, no podiums, no poles, no fastest laps, nine points, and a best finish of sixth at the 2008 Australian Grand Prix. In 6th, you voted for Ukio Katayama. Katayama won Japanese Formula 3000 in 1991 and then got a seat with LaRousse in 1992. The car was a typically slow and unreliable midfielder and Katayama failed to qualify for two races and had a run of five consecutive retirements mid-season. He moved to Tyrrell for 1993 when they managed to secure Yamaha engines and here had the same problems and finished only five races. He stayed in 1994, and while the car was just as unreliable, it was far more competitive, and he was regularly running in the points, but only finished four races, though did score points in three of them. He took a step back in 1995 and failed to score any points in the few races he finished. 1996 was the same story, though at Spa he did finish on the lead lap for the only time in his career. Tyrrell lost their Yamaha engines in 1997 and so he spent the year in an uncompetitive Minardi and retired at the end of the year and announced he had been suffering with a benign tumour in his back since 1994, which prevented him accepting an offer from an undisclosed front-running team in 1995, and he ended his career with a finishing rate of just 36%. In 95 races, he got no wins, no podiums, no poles, no fastest laps, 5 points, and a best finish of 5th at the 1994 Brazilian and San Marino Grand Prix. In 5th, you voted for Satoru Nakajima. Nakajima began racing in the 1970s, getting backing from Honda, and winning 5 consecutive Japanese Formula 2 titles before signing for Lotus in 1987 when they secured Honda engines, becoming the first full-time Japanese Formula 1 driver at the age of 34. He was partnered by Ayrton Senna, and where Senna got 2 wins and 8 podiums and finished 3rd in the championship, Nakajima could do no better than 1 4th place and finished 12th in the championship. 
At Suzuka, a circuit he had more mileage on than the rest of the grid combined, he had his best qualifying of 11th, 9 tenths off Senna, and ran an onboard camera throughout the race. He stayed with Lotus for 1988 while Senna moved to McLaren, and he was now joined by defending three-time champion Nelson Piquet. Here, he got just a single point at the opening round, and twice failed to qualify, whereas PK got three podiums, but was disgruntled at the fact that he had beaten Nakajima in a far less convincing fashion than Senna had. Despite losing their Honda engines, Lotus re-signed Nakajima for 1989. They now had abysmal Judd engines, and three times he failed to qualify. At the season finale in Australia, however, he qualified 23rd and spun in the rain at the start, but stormed through to match his career-best fourth, finishing just five seconds off the podium and set the fastest lap. He joined Tyrrell in 1990 on the promise of them getting Honda engines for 1991. He was regularly behind teammate Jean Lacy and scored a few points but crashed out of three races and finished only five, including missing Estoril due to the flu. He did a second year with them, now with Honda engines, but scored points only once. He then lost his seat after Honda pulled out, but was first in line to race for a potential Honda works team, testing their first car several times, but it wouldn't be until 2006 that they returned as a team, by which point he was 53 years old and was focused on supporting his son Kazuki's Formula 1 ambitions. In 74 races, he got no wins, no podiums, no poles, one fastest lap, 16 points, and a best finish of fourth at the 1987 British Grand Prix and 1989 Australian Grand Prix. In fourth, you voted for Raguri Suzuki. Suzuki stormed through the domestic Japanese ladder in the 1980s and won Japanese Formula 3000 in 1988, and then made his Formula 1 debut with LaRousse at the penultimate round in Japan, covering for an ill Yannick Dalmas. He was signed by Zack Speed for 1989, who were running Yamaha engines, but he failed to get out of pre-qualifying in any races. For 1990, he returned to LaRousse. Breaking out of pre-qualifying in the first half of the season was not a problem. Indeed, he could sometimes qualify in the top 10. A couple of points finishes came before his day of days at Suzuka, where he finished third, becoming the first Japanese Formula 1 driver to score a home podium and the first Asian driver to get a podium. He stayed with them for 1991 and started strongly by scoring a point at the opening round, however he would never again see the chequered flag, as he failed to qualify for four races and retired from the remaining 11. In 1992 he moved over to Footwork, who were running Mugen Honda engines. He struggled here however as he failed to qualify for two races and didn't score any points while teammate Michele Alboreto scored six. A second year with the team was much of the same, with him qualifying for every race but not scoring any points and having a run of eight consecutive retirements. He did a single race with Jordan in 1994 covering for a band Eddie Irvine, which was followed by a campaign in Japanese touring cars. He signed with Ligier in 1995 on the insistence of their engine suppliers Mugen Honda and shared a seat with Martin Brundle, though Brundle did the main bulk of the races. He ran the first three, and then scored a point at Hockenheim mid-season, but then returned at the end, but after crashing at Suzuka and injuring his neck, he immediately retired from Formula 1. Following his driving career came a long management career, founding ARTA in Super GT, Super Aguri in Formula 1, and Team Aguri in Formula E, and he had a SNES racing game named after him in 1992. In 65 races, he got no wins, one podium, no poles, no fastest laps, eight points, and a best finish of third at the 1990 Japanese Grand Prix. In third, you voted for Yuki Tsunoda. Tsunoda got backing from Honda in 2016, and then two years later won Japanese Formula 4 and moved to Europe, joining the Red Bull Junior team when Red Bull secured Honda power units. He finished third in Formula 2 in 2020 and got his FIA Super License and so signed with Alpha Tauri for 2021, becoming the first Japanese Formula 1 driver in seven years and the first Formula 1 driver born in the 2000s. He caused a stir by finishing ninth on his debut, but over the next few races there were several accidents and he developed a reputation for being hot-headed over the radio. He mellowed out as the year went on, but points were rare until he finished a career-best fourth at the season finale in Abu Dhabi. He re-signed with Alpha Tauri in 2022, but the car was worse and points became very rare, with him often having good results ruined by accidents or mechanical problems. He signed again with them in 2023, and with teammate Pierre Gasly moving to Alpine, he became the senior driver and has so far met the match of his three teammates, Nick de Vries, Daniel Ricciardo and Liam Lawson, and has matured but is in a car and with a team that can rarely do any better than 10th. 
Amid much speculation, with three drivers competing for two seats, he has been signed for a fourth year with Alfa Tauri for 2024 alongside Ricardo. In 58 races, he has got no wins, no podiums, no poles, no fastest laps, 47 points, and a best finish of fourth at the 2021 Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. In second, you voted for Takuma Sato. Honda's golden boy made his Formula 1 debut with Honda customers team Jordan in 2002. It wasn't the easiest year, in which he made a lot of rookie errors and crashed numerous times, but scored his first point at his home Grand Prix in the final round. He moved on to Honda's main team BAR for 2003 as a test driver, and was called up for the final race after Jacques Villeneuve was sacked and scored more points. He was made a full-time driver for 2004, when the car became far more competitive. He scored regular points and a podium in Indianapolis, though far fewer of both than teammate Jensen Button, and also started on the front row of the Nürburgring, and set an overall lap record that wasn't broken until 2020. The 2005 car was far worse, and Scarto scored points only once, at which point he was sacked. However, due to his enduring popularity, an unofficial Honda B team called Super Aguri was founded in order to keep him on the grid. Despite the four-year-old car being awful, Sato shone here. His teammates gave him little to no competition and he could occasionally keep up with Midland, but at the season-ending Brazilian Grand Prix everything came together and he beat his teammate, both Midlands, both Toro Rossos and a Red Bull to finish a stunning 10th. For 2007, Super Aguri acquired the race-winning Honda RA106, and Sato struggled to adjust to it as well as new teammate and Honda compatriot Anthony Davidson, but unlike him had the pace to give the team points, including with a stunning pass on defending champion Fernando Alonso in Canada. The team folded after four races in 2008, and after an unsuccessful attempt to sign with Toro Rosso for 2009, he moved to America and won the Indy 500 twice. In 90 races, he got no wins, one podium, no poles, no fastest laps, 44 points, and a best finish of third at the 2004 United States Grand Prix. And finally, in first, you voted for Kamui Kobayashi. Kobayashi picked up Toyota backing as a teenager and became their third driver in 2007. In 2009, in the midst of a waning GP2 series campaign, he made his unplanned debut for Toyota at the Brazilian Grand Prix, replacing an injured Timo Glock. He made a huge statement here by fearlessly holding off Jensen Button's charge to the championship for several laps, and then symbolically punted the outgoing Kazuki Nakajima into the barriers. He drove a bit more cautiously in Abu Dhabi, but still stormed his way through the field, battling defiantly with another champion in Kimi Raikkonen, and finished sixth. Toyota withdrew from Formula 1 over the winter break, but Kobayashi secured a seat with Sauber alongside Pedro de la Rosa. The start of the season was difficult as the car was unreliable and he was involved in several first lap crashes. Things turned around however at Valencia where he pitted four laps from the end and passed both Fernando Alonso and Sebastian Buemi on the last lap to finish seventh. At the Japanese Grand Prix, he made some five overtakes at the hairpin, including on new teammate Nick Heidfeld and finished seventh again. He stayed with Sauber for 2011 and had another new teammate in Sergio Perez. Aside from being disqualified at the first round, he got a run of six consecutive points finishes, including a career-best fifth at Monaco and a race-long battle with Michael Schumacher at Sepang. In the second half of the year, he replicated the first half of 2010, with poor pace and several crashes. He remained with Sauber again for 2012. Here, his performances became more inconsistent, he and Perez tended to sacrifice qualifying pace for good race pace and tyre life, but in China he went from 4th to 10th, but did become the first Japanese driver since Satoru Nakajima in 1989 to get fastest lap. He went from 9th to 5th in Spain, and in Germany finished a career best 4th. At Spa, he qualified an astonishing 2nd, but had a slow start and was then caught up in Romain Grosjean's pileup and finished 13th. In Japan, he managed to finish third to get his first podium, emulating Aguri Suzuki 22 years earlier. He went from 15th to 6th at Abu Dhabi, and at the season finale in Interlagos, pulled a double overtake on both Red Bulls at the safety car restart, and then Fernando Alonso and finished 7th. He had doubled his point score from 2011, but had been outscored by Perez who got three podiums, and he was then dropped. He spent 2013 as Ferrari's test driver and raced for AF Corsa in the LMGTE Pro category of the World Endurance Championship, and after raising £1.3 million of sponsorship money through crowdfunding, secured a seat with backmarkers Caterham for 2014. 
It was the first year of the hybrid era, and the car had a substandard Renault power unit, underheating tyres and overheating brakes. He could do little beyond battle with teammate Marcus Ericsson and main rivals Marussia, who scored points at Monaco after Jules Bianchi barged past him earlier in the race. He was disgruntled to be forced to vacate his seat for Andre Lossero at Spa, and then after Sochi, the team, who had a small budget and had gone through three different team principals that year alone, went into administration. Through crowdfunding, they secured the funds to compete at the final round in Abu Dhabi, but beyond this, there were no vacant seats for Kobayashi in 2015. He now races in Super Formula, where he has achieved little success, and the World Endurance Championship with Toyota, where he has won the title twice and Le Mans once, and is now team principal of Toyota Gazoo Racing in tandem with driving for them. In 75 races, he got no wins, one podium, no poles, one fastest lap, 125 points, and a best finish of third at the 2012 Japanese Grand Prix. That's all for this video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter slash X, Instagram, TikTok and threads at brook underscore F1. Also join my Discord server and subscribe to my Spotify page and check out the DRS Train podcast, links in the description. A huge shout out and thank you as ever to my Patreon subscribers. Do subscribe to my Patreon if you want early access to audio only versions of each video, as well as a few videos that YouTube won't allow me to put up. And I'll see you all next time.